Hi, my name is Jay Turner Gardner. I'm the Associate Director of Nursing for Infection Prevention and Control and the Deputy Dipsy here at Arrow Park in Wirral University Teaching Hospital. We welcomed our COVID expats back in January 2020. During that time we found it very challenging but we've also found it very rewarding. It was amazing how emotional it felt at the time to welcome them back um, not knowing really what was going to happen. They didn't know what was going to happen. They'd had a long journey. They were followed by the press. They brought family with them. There were small children. We got toys. We got everything we could for them to make them feel welcome and at home and safe for their two weeks that they were in quarantine with us. They finally went home on last Sunday in March um, and that's when Covid then had an impact on the rest of the country. That's when the England started to go in lockdown and I think that's when actually everybody then realised um, how this was going to affect us when schools got closed, transport stopped. I think the one thing we weren't aware of was how big an impact it was going to have. So the challenges that we faced at the very beginning of Covid were how do we get our staff to be educated, how do we get out there to teach them what they need to know, to be able to choose the right options all the time to keep themselves, their families and their patients safe. The things that we had to get out to the wards regarding their practices, their PPE, their hand hygiene, their cleaning standards helped enormously by using the Tendable app. So my team have been able to create the standards that actually need to be in the Tendable app to allow the trust then to take out the bits of it that are needed for ward accreditation that is done on an annual basis. The infection prevention team meets on a monthly basis with the rest of the trust and at that time we're able to feed back what all the wards have actually scored in their audits, which has been really helpful because it's a challenge then to all the other divisions to actually try and um, not get in competition with each other, but actually to try and see what others are doing to try and improve their scores in their own areas where they work. Following the recent CQC inspection, the Infection Prevention Keep It Simple campaign was actually named as being outstanding and I think that's on the back of what the ward staff were doing at the time because they were doing their audits on such a regular basis that the level of care was improving and increasing all, all of the time to enable us to achieve that. The tendable audits are a really good way for our staff to see what their achievements are and actually to look at how their hard work is improving on a weekly basis and by doing some simple things actually helps their patient safe journey. The audit tools within the Tendable app for infection prevention are based on the National Infection Prevention Guidelines. Audit tools are helpful in delivering quality care and improving on care that we deliver to actually ensure that we get that quality on a daily, daily basis.